Hi, welcome to Camixel Technologies YouTube channel. DaVinci Resolve 17 has been released. The upgrade is available for the free version guys and the studio version guys. And in this video, we are going to explore the proxy generation, which is the most requested feature of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to my media page where I can import and organize my files. So I'm just going to find my footage. So let's say these are all my Blackmagic RAW footage shot in 6K. So let me come down and find appropriate uh, location. Okay, so this seems good. So I'm going to select all these shots and create a new bin here, say clips. So I'm just going to drag and drop and as usual it will ask for the frame rate change and it is a revamped thing in Resolve 17. It looks different and cool. So I'm just going to hit don't change. And I have all the clips here. So it's uh, a raw clip and it struggles to play in my system in 50 frames per second. So before Resolve has a method called optimization, but now Resolve has a new feature called proxy media generation. So proxy media will create an alternative clips to the same original clips and we will be working on editing towards it. And when we are creating, it is just a single click away. So let's see how that works. So first we need to set up the proxy media generation. I'm going to my optimize media and cache you know, my master settings. And you have an option here called proxy media resolution. So what is your resolution going to be? It should be running smoothly. So I'm going to choose 1A. And you can also let it to be choose automatically. It will define your system capability and it will choose it. So I'm going to my proxy media and for me it's proxy. So 422 proxy is enough. And that's pretty much in the settings. You're just uh, setting your resolution and format of your proxy. And if you come down, you have an option here called working folders where you will be creating your proxy media generation where you will be keeping your proxy media. So let me browse and I'm just going to my folder inside movies. I'm creating a new folder saying uh, proxy media test so create and hit open so you have set the location for your proxy media so i'm just going to hit save i'm going to just save this as sub shop okay the project has been saved i'm going to select all the clips right click and i'm going to select generate proxy media and you can see an option called the link proxy media which means you can generate low quality footage from another software and you can also link it to your original clips. So you can switch back between your original and your uh, proxy with a single click. But in this case, we are going to generate optimized media inside results. In this case, we are just going to generate our proxy media. So when I click proxy media, it will start generating your proxy media. Okay, so my proxy has been generated and if I play back, and it's smooth but your metadata shows shows it is in 6k but your actual media has been generated as proxy to confirm that you can go to your playback and you can see an option here called use proxy media if available so proxy is an separate file and let me check if we go to my finder and you can see proxy media text proxy media and it has the complete footage or folder architecture it should be having and we have our proxy media here which is the quarter resolution you can see the proxy media so how small it is it is just uh, 30 MB 40 MB so it converted 6k into an uh, 720p footage and the best part which I'm going to show you is I'm just going to save this and I'm going to quit resolve and I'm going to unlink my original clips here so i'm just going to unlink my original clips and now if i start my resolve 17 and i'm going to my server shop project and you can see me i have all the files here my original media has been disconnected you can see the volumes lassie uh, it has been linked to my original clips but you are running through the box proxy which is inside my system so you can definitely edit and do whatever you want and if you go to playback and if you want to switch over to your original media since we have disconnected the 
lassi or the external hard drive which is containing the virtual media shows you media offline but when you get back to use proxy media you can use your proxy media wherever you want even if you put it in your timeline it is going to relink automatically so just as simple as that and if you disable it it is going to show you offline and if you enable it you can see all your media here you can start editing doing stuff in a faster way so that is all about uh, generating proxy media and you have more smoother and if you go to your cut page you can have your preview in a much faster way you can see all the content at one go and your playback is very smooth and whenever you want you just need a toggle and you are into your original clips so that is all about proxy media so i'll get back to you more in davinci resolve 17 so stay tuned